the spectrum and choose the highest base stat for Sooner Rage of Pokemon, and that is Infernape. I think he should get more white fur. Emphasis that because he's already he's a monkey. He's kind of based off Wukong firefighting. He's very cool, very slick, very fast, very offensive. And I think adding that white fur can be really cool. But I do also think he should get the staff of Wukong. I think that would be a great addition. Obviously, people have seen different versions of Wukong. We've obviously got the new game coming out. We've got League of Legends. We've got Paragon. Other games like this all have Goku, for one, is based off some Wukong with the staff, Power Pole. So I feel like giving him all this white fur to make him look more holy or godly, I think. And then adding the staff just to emphasize that he is as powerful as the god Sun Wukong. Like I said, the typing will remain the same. He will be firefighting. And the main increase for this character is attack and speed. Physical attack and speed. Because obviously, I've based this one kind of off Sun Wukong. And he's a very fast, very strong god. He can do a lot of transforming and whatnot. But mostly focus on the speed and the physical strength. Special attack obviously is still there because Infernape is a mixed attacker mostly. But I wanted to focus more on physical and then speed on upon Mega Evolution. Obviously, once again, being a Mega Pokemon, he must hold the Infernape Ite. The names aren't very cool, but that's what they've all been gone off. So, Torterrite, the Infernape Ite, and then obviously the Empoleonite for Empoleon. The new ability, I, I couldn't think of a cool name, but I feel like this one is alright. I'm going to call it Monkey Morph. Obviously, that's also based around the idea of Sun Wukong, who can transform into 72 earthly creatures. Same kind of thing with Infernape. He doesn't transform into these creatures, but he does take their typings. So, I've actually made it the same as Protean or Libero, like Cinderace. So, any move that he uses, he becomes that type. So, his firefighting type doesn't always stay there. So, it will, could be start, it will start there and then change to maybe one or the other. Because you probably have a fire type move and a fighting type move. But if he has Thunder Punch, he's now an electric type. And I feel like that is a really good move. Both Pokemon that have this type move have either been banned or questioned. Like, it's just a very good ability. And now add it to a super fast offensive mega Pokemon. I feel like it might be broken. But I wanted to stick with the idea of Sun Wukong having those transformations. Being the ability to become other things. And I feel like the best way to do that in a Pokemon game is to change your type. Like I said before, the moves are all the same. Base 120, they learn upon Mega Evolution or a new move that you learn upon Evolution as a, like your signature move, like Water Shuriken and stuff for Greninja. So it could be called Infernal Staff. It's not that, it could be Inferno Staff, could be Staff of the Inferno, something. I wanted something fire related to the Staff. He's Mega Evolving, he's getting this Staff now. He needs to show it off with some power. So it's Infernal Staff. Could be a big, like, could you a jump off the staff, like pole vault almost, and then land with a big, like, sliding down hit. Could be a massive thrust, could be anything, could be a swing, could be a throw for that matter. Whatever it is, something fire staff related. The the base stat, in, or the chance to increase a base stat for Infernape would be his speed. I didn't want to choose the same. Obviously, I said Infernape is based on, the Mega Evolution is focusing on attack and speed. And Torterra already has the increased attack stat, so I wanted to make Infernape's based on his speed. So there's a 33% chance to increase your speed stat upon using, upon hitting Infernal Staff. Infernape's base stats are originally 534, so obviously now upon Mega Evolution uh, evolving, it would be 634. HP stays the same, make it a 76. His defenses were already frail, but nothing, nothing super frail. He's not like a, just, he's a glass cannon, but he's not like one shot all the time. His base defenses are both 71. So I've given them a very, very small increase to both reach base 80. Now even 80, so 80 defensive, 80 special defense is just a smidge more bulk. It's not much. This, Like I said, this character is focusing on being super offensive and fast. It's not supposed to be bulky. It's supposed to be a glass cannon that can just roll through. It's a sweeper Pokemon. It's not supposed to be bulky. It's supposed to just do damage and get out. I've increased the special attack a little bit. I know I said it's mostly a physical attacker, ideally. But there are some special moves, especially with abilities like Protein or Libero, if it had it. It would take advantage of using those special moves like Grass Knot, for example. If you can take a nice special mixed attacker that has mostly physical and then one sneaky special attack hidden in there with a type advantage that you gain from it, could be really good. So I've changed it from 104 to 110. It originally was 120, and it was only a very small increase, but I could have left it the same. I wanted to take it to 120, but I worked out that I added too much speed, and I feel like speed was more important. So I had to take a little bit off to take it back from the special attack. So it's gone from 104 to 110, just a small boost, actually less than the defensive boost. But like I said, the focus is on the attack and speed. And out of the good bit, so we've gone from an already decent 104 physical attack, and we've bumped it up 
to 140. Big increase, 36, not a 60 base increase like Torterra, but Torterra is base 46 speed. So he's taking a hit. He has to take a hit first to then do massive damage. So he's going to be bulky enough to take that first hit. Infernape, he's not. He's going from base 108 speed, which is already pretty good. It's just over 330. I think it's about 333 maxed out and now it's at 145 so he's on par with excelgore a very very fast pokemon a very fast lead so now infernape is just through the roof on his speed so that 145 is huge and then base 140 attack he's just a massive physical attack sweeper super fast super offensive with a slight still special attack advantage very fast very strong and like i said that's his whole focus and with the move and ability like protein if you give him u-turn flare blitz oh sorry the new move wouldn't be flare blitz it would be infernal staff then close combat and maybe an ice punch or a thunder punch, this Pokemon would be an absolute menace to deal with in any scenario. Finally, at my my favorite starter, personally, I do love Infernape and Torterra, but I think Empoleon's still my favorite. And I really couldn't decide on the best design, so I've taken a couple here. Um, one is a more defensive design. One is a little bit faster. I haven't gone through stats for the fast one. I definitely could if you want to see that, so let me know. But I feel like this Pokemon should be bulkier he's the emperor he's the king of all penguins he's a steel type his crown will get bigger i do think the speed variant could be really cool making him more of a fast special attacker sweeper maybe a bit more all around a bit more speed bump it up from 60 to maybe close to 100 or something and then make him more special attack but i do think the bulkier version is better so we've gone with this type of pokemon i want him to have a, a cloak almost like a king he should have a cloak a cloak or a cape and then I still can't decide because he's still got his penguin fin arms that are steel. I still can't decide if I want him to hold a trident or not. I feel like it could be really cool. And I'm leaning towards it because he's the emperor. He's the king Pokemon. So I do kind of want him to hold a trident. But he has got a trident head. So either or let me know if you would rather him hold the trident or just be the trident. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. But they're the two options I'm playing with. Like I said, for the other two, keeping his water steel typing and holding the Apollyon Knight. And his ability, I would change i couldn't decide i've seen a variation i actually got an idea from one that was from this artwork it was actually adaptability i think that could be really good because giving like surf hydro pump flash cannon could be phenomenal for adaptability but like i said he's the king he's the emperor emperor sorry and i wanted to make him a little bit more bulky His special attack is already quite high and i've given him a fair bit so i wanted to make him bulkier and then just that smidge more so i've decided to give him filter to so take 50 less 50% less damage from super effective moves. So things like Thunderbolt, like Close Combat, like Earthquake, the other two starter Pokemon that ruined Empoleon, no more. Don't even worry about it. 50% less damage from it. Oh, beautiful. And on now, you're already quite bulky stats. I think it's a really good ability just to help the Pokemon have more natural bulk and then still use their special attack or their attack to run through teams without having to set up as much. This was probably the hardest one to think of for a name because I couldn't, there's already so many water type Pokemon, water type moves. I couldn't think of anything. I wanted to name something after Poseidon, but I felt like that was a bit pretentious. So I chose not to do that. So I wanted to, these are mostly based off like mythical beings or gods or something because I think that's really cool. So I just, it's very bland, it's very basic. So I've just called the move Vortex. We've got Twister, we've got Surf. I wanted to call it Tsunami, that's just a bigger Surf. So I didn't really want to choose anything that already exists. Obviously, Vortex is cool because it'd be very similar to Whirlpool, but Whirlpool is such an underwhelming move. It does like base 15 or 20. It's very weak. Obviously, it traps them in the Vortex, which is the whole point of this move. So just be a massive, massive tornado, a water tornado. That's just, it wraps them up, it keeps them in there, it spins them around, does big damage, and then maybe explodes apart. Something cool. Vortex is the best name I could think of. If you can think of a better name, please let me know. But that's the idea for it. A big, giant, swinging water tornado wraps them up and then explodes apart. Like I said again, once again, for all of them, it's base 120 power, 95% accuracy. Could be 90, I might drop that down. But then the 33% the in, the increase for Empoleon would be obviously his special attack. The Pokemon's known for that. It's supposed to be its highest stat. It is. So with a bit of bulk and then a possible increase to a special attack, you're just going to be rolling through teams with a strong Vortex, hopefully. Empoleon probably had the best well-rounded stats out of these three starters. Base 530, so it's a little bit less than Infernape, a little bit more than Torterra. He's in the middle ground. His stats definitely were the most well-rounded. His speed is still quite slow. He's only four base speed higher than Torterra. So base 60 speed is definitely not much. But sadly, I actually haven't increased his speed at all. So like I said before, with the speed 
ish build, the more thin in Poland it would be faster. I feel like I would put more speed into that build. But for this bulkier build, the king build, the emperor build, I want it to be keep that slow speed stat. Didn't decrease it, but keep the slowish speed stat and then add more to the bulk in special attack. Once again, HP stays the same at a base 84. Nothing crazy, but still enough bulk to do something. Physical attack, I didn't change at all, surprisingly. I wanted to because moves like Steel Wing or Metal Claw, Waterfall, Drill Peck especially, are great physical attacking moves that Empoleon learns. But other than that, he doesn't learn any. If he had to learn something maybe like Air Slash, or if he could learn something like that, that could be fantastic. But Drill Peck is a great move, and so is Waterfall. But his special attack is just so much better. And Flash Cannon is phenomenal. If he had a better Steel type move, maybe he could put into physical attack. I could see definitely like an Aqua Jet, Waterfall, Metal Claw, something type build, a physical King Emperor build. Maybe a Trident, If maybe that could be the physical version. If you had the Trident, it could be the physical version of Mega Empoleon where he like does a Trident toss or something. Could be cool like that, but I focus mostly on the special attack and the defenses. So for, because Empoleon's special defense is more than his normal defense, I kept it the same way. So we've gone from 88 to 110. So it's a decent increase, same as, as He's got the same defenses as Silver, uh, as Umbreon now. So 110 physical defense and 130 special defense. So very, very bulky. Jumped up from 101 special defense to 130. So very bulky now. And if you add filter to that as well, he's taking physical hits much better from those special effect moves. And then taking a Thunderbolt or a Thunder much better from those special moves. Putting 51 base stats across the defenses leaves a massive... 49 base stat total increase to his special attack. It is a massive jump from 111 to 160. It is huge, and that is what we want from the Emperor himself. We want a massive special attack stat. We want big Hydro Pumps, big Vortexes, big Flash Cannons just doing massive damage to anyone that comes in, resisted or not. So with that increase, like everyone else, his base stats do increase from 530 to 630. So I think that is a well-rounded build that could work from Poland, because I feel like that's already the gist of Empoleon, quite bulky with good special attack. We've just made that even better. More emphasis on that defense and special attack, especially adding filter. Well, that's my three ideas, I guess, for these three Mega Evolution Pokemon for the Sinnoh starters. My favorite, one of my favorite regions for sure. Definitely three of my favorite starter Pokemon. So adding a Mega Evolution in this game coming up would be phenomenal. I would love to see it. I do have... Uh, quite many doubts that it won't happen, but it would still be amazing to see, and a man can always dream. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. Make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss a single Pokemon BDSP upload. Could be like new content, could be rumors, could be me doing fan theories and whatnot. Mega Evolutions will be the Let's Play when that comes out. So make sure you hit the bell and subscribe so you don't miss it. Comment down below what your thoughts are on these Mega Evolutions and what ideas you have that you would change. And as always, take it easy.